I've been on a diet for about six months now, which explains why I just finished eating a bowl of coffee almond ice cream. Let he who is without carb cravings cast the first slim fast can. Speaking of diet drinks, I believe more than a few companies have composed coffee flavored variations on their standard liquid fare. Oh, they try to be so clever by calling it mocha, but we see through their little ruse. Over the years, there have been many attempts to blend coffee with another food or beverage. Some have proven hugely successful, while others have fallen a little short of the glory. Coffee ice cream came straight out of the vat with a halo and a large bow saying, buy me, I'm terrific. While the earliest versions of cold cappuccinos played cards on the shelves and said, when you run out of every other drink in the house, you know where I live. Times have changed, and now frozen or chilled cappuccinos are among the most popular drinks in gourmet coffee houses. Sometimes it just comes down to building the perfect beast and waiting for the right consumers to find it. As appealing as it sounds, there is one coffee-enhanced beverage I'm glad hasn't made it onto store shelves, Drew Carey's infamous Buzz Beer. For those of you who missed the show, Buzz Beer came about after one of Drew's cronies started drinking coffee between taste tests. The combination proved to be marketable on the show, but I seriously doubt anyone would actually try to duplicate it in real life. Coffee has been used in a lot of strange concoctions, but beer seems to do best on its own. At least I won't be polishing off a pint of beer pistachio ice cream anytime soon. That's okay though, it leaves more room in the fridge for my card-playing iced cappuccino buddies.